unfortunately, here's what we've learned from our time, even from the time that we've been in school. So at an early age, we learned that school an average is enough to get by. We learn that if you make a C or an A, the goal has been to graduate, to get out of, to complete. It has not been to excel. So now we have to ask ourselves, when did good enough to pass in school or education become good enough in life? You know, so what we find ourselves now as adults, we've taken the floor, you know, average or um, this mediocre and we've made it the standard. You see, the problem with this is that we took the exception, which is average, which was just enough to get by. And that exception has now become the rule. It became the law. So instead of having young people who turn into adults and husbands and wives and business owners who strive for excellence, we've decided to, well, let's just be average. Let's not, you know, stick our head up too high. Let's not become too much. Otherwise, we're going to endure scorn from our colleagues, our peers, maybe even our siblings. So that's the problem. The good news is that today, all we have to do is be better than average. Now, there's a wrestle in that decision to be better than average because it does require more of you and I. It requires more of us. It requires a decision, one, but then it requires intentional action. And this whole lie of average, or we might hear it as the law of average, we've just taken it and applied it to everything. And so here's what the law of averages says. It says that if we do just enough, uh, if we do something just enough times, if we do just enough of something, if we try enough times, if we have enough variations, if we make enough sales calls or presentations, if we just do it one more time, then the law of averages plays and works in our favor and we have to intentionally decide that we have a commitment to excellence as opposed to a commitment of average because here's what the result of the law of averages and mediocrity and just wanting to get by here's what the result is it's become a commitment to average to mediocrity in business we find ourselves you know being okay with lackluster service and products being just good enough to keep people coming back to us not to blow them away not to exceed their expectations but to meet or to just not disappoint them so as we go from being owners to leaders we have to make a tough but necessary decision we have to decide that average is no longer enough you know so there is this gap there is this distance between consumer and leader and in the middle we have owners so in our world in the business world consumers are looking for greater quality at lower cost right and i think we could all agree we could understand as consumers you know we're looking for greater quality at lower cost how can i get the best but pay less for it as owners we are looking for more profit with less less risk and cost right so we want more profit but we want to do it by maybe shaving some corners or taking some shortcuts but here's the difference between consumers owners and leaders leaders are looking for more opportunity that's it we are looking for where can we find greater opportunity we're not looking for lower cost. We're not looking for less risk. We're looking for more opportunity. And I believe that in this day and age that we find ourselves, if you are an owner, that's okay. But the challenge is to become a leader. And when you become a leader, you're going to experience results that you probably never expected and never even knew were possible.